Hi, my name is Brad Pete for Skylights Resort, where heaven meets the bay. Welcome to Deep Week 2024. Let's get it on! Okay, so Brandon, welcome. It's second time around. Second time, back again. Absolutely loving it. So, first question is, what is it with Coron that you so approve of when it comes to as a location for your deep week dive? Oh, okay. So, Coron is fantastic for diving. It has so many amazing things. It has it has depth very close to where we are here at Sky Lodge. It has Barracuda Lake, which is of course you know a worldwide attraction for free divers. There's tons of shipwrecks. There's tons of beautiful coral and life um, and it just you know for an event like ours where we are bringing people from all around the world to dive in some of the most beautiful places in the world this is one of those beautiful places uh, and so it makes perfect sense for us to be here and to spend our time here with our divers. And Skylodge as well. And Skylodge as well, yeah. I mean, you get the the accommodations here are fantastic. The space is perfect for us because we have the um, the rooftop out here, we have the resto, we have all of these different KTV spaces. And so it's great for us because we can uh, have our entire group here and run workshops and have this be our home base for the week. Um, it's, it's really fantastic. Okay, no. Second question. I was looking at the outline of the program, though it's uh, quite trying to understand the significance of yoga and meditation mm. in the whole uh, mm. event. Yeah, so as freedivers, you know, a lot of what we do in the water is based on relaxation. You know, we have to slow our heart rate down, we have to control our breath, we can't be panicked because that uses more oxygen and we need all the oxygen we can get because we take only one breath down with us. And so a lot of freedivers are very into yoga because it's a lot of body control and mental control. And then meditation and visualization is a great tool for freedivers to use to not only practice um, their diving uh, in their minds, because there have been studies that show that if you practice an activity, making it as real as possible in your mind, recruiting all different senses, um, you can actually see a physical improvement in your technique, in your strength um, by doing that. Um, and then from the other perspective of mentalness, uh, mental relaxation, uh, we take that time to just calm our minds and learn how to control the mind, whereas yoga is a lot more control of the body. The mental side of things is equally as important in free diving because if the mind is busy, if the mind is overworking, it's, you know, again, very hard to stay relaxed in an environment where, you know, we aren't normally hanging out all the time. Uh, so between yoga and, and visualization and meditation, those two things are really supplemental to what we do as free divers. Uh, here at Deep Week. Okay, so uh, yesterday I was at Barracuda Lake. One thing I observed is that, oh yeah, the, the conversations was a little bit toned down a bit, less noise. Mm. And I was looking down deep, it was like the first thing that I saw that was a 15 meter practice. Mm -hmm. that, that? Yep. That's that's oftentimes for for lots of people, they're sort of warm up. Dive. Warm up. So they, they start by going down 15 meters, maybe they go down there and then they sit and hold on to the bottom for a little bit and just relax and feel the water and feel the movement on the surface and they come back up again. And then they get into their actual dive session where you know many will go down to 20 meters, 30 meters. Uh, we had some divers uh, today doing 40 meters in the lake and then we also had somebody go out on a drift dive today in uh, roughly I think 55 meters. Uh, they did a few 55 meter dives today. Okay, one last question. One guest was observing another diver mm. and she was asking if, if there will be another next year for a very curious and very interested but not yet a diver. Yes. Would you, how, what advice would you give if somebody would want to join for next year at least yes. starting this week and do that? So event. starting right now to be ready for deep week next year, um, I would say that 
They could either start taking freediving courses here in Quran. I mean, Palawan Freediving is a really great school here that has really great courses. You get to dive in Barracuda Lake as well. Um, they're fantastic. Um, I would also say that working on any kind of, um, like going online and looking and seeing what type of uh, videos are out there on freediving. Adam Stern has a lot of great videos on educational stuff for freediving and nice vlogs of where he's been and all that sort of stuff. Um, but really, the best thing that you can do if you want to start freediving is to just take a freediving course and do it. Um, no time to waste. Do it, have fun, and then deep weeks are really great because it's a full week of freediving and training with a group of people that are very similarly minded. Everyone wants to learn to dive, wants to become better freedivers. And you know, this is this is the world's biggest freediving festival. Uh, and so people from all around the world come to learn from Adam, learn from our record holders that come and teach workshops here, learn from our instructors from all around the world with all different kinds of experiences and ways of teaching. Uh, it's really a fantastic place to learn how to freedive and to gain more experience with technique and uh, just exposure to freediving. Uh, so I'd say start now. All right, so Sir Braden, that's all for this afternoon, and we're so happy and grateful for your no presence, and I hope to see you again next year. I would be very happy to be back here next year. I, as always, you know, Sky Lodge is our home dirt for this event, and we absolutely love being here. So definitely see you next year. All right, there you have it. So see you soon again. That's Deep Week 2024 right here, Sky Lodge Resort. We haven't missed the bay called Ron Palawan. See you. Thank you.